I'm Kathy from the Delafield Quilt Company. Today I'm going to show you how I made this little Halloween quilt. This quilt came together super fast. So if you're looking for a quilt that you can sew in one night and you have one charm pack and some coordinating solids, you might want to check this tutorial out. To make this quilt you need the following fabrics. Let's get started. The fabric that I used in my Halloween quilt was from the Ghostly Greetings by Deb Strain. It's really a cute collection that has a lot of fun little prints. I like the cat and the owl. Of course there's some pumpkins, bats. It's got all the good things for a good Halloween quilt. I'll put a link to the information on this collection in the show notes. I'm also using some coordinating blacks and an off-white to go along with this. So this quilt does sew really quick and the reason it sews so quick is because I'm going to show you a really quick way of making an hourglass block using charm squares and then I cut some quartering five inch squares to go with that. Basically we're going to make four of those blocks at once. So I'm going to set aside my six and a quarter inch squares. I won't need those until later. And essentially I want to take two charm squares from the printed collection and then I'm going to take two of the solid five inch squares. Actually I'm going to mix this up a little bit more. You do want to have some nice contrast, I think, when you put these together. I'm going to get another set ready to go as well, because then you can see how I'm going to sew these together so we can make a really quick hourglass block. All right, so I'm going to go sew these four sets together. I'm going to start with the rows. I'm going to then press them open, and then I'm going to sew the two rows together. And I'm using a quarter inch seam allowance to sew these together. Okay, now that I got the rows sewn together, I'm just going to press them. And I've got them arranged so they're all going the same direction, just to get them all pressed in the same direction. So then when we turn them, the seams will be nesting. Okay, once you've got them all pressed, go ahead and rearrange them. And now we're going to just sew each of these sets together. Make sure that you're lining up your seam. If you need to put in a few pins, that's totally fine as well. When I pin my pieces together, I really like to pin it right at the seams just to keep those two together as much as I can. Okay, now I'm going to go sew these with a quarter inch seam. Okay, now that we have our sections of four squares sewn together, we're going to just press it open again. Same with the other one. Okay, now to make the hourglass block, we're going to place one on top of the other, and we're going to make sure that one of our prints is going to go on top of one of the solids, and then line it up that way. Okay, and I'm just making sure my seams align as I'm Pinning this, I'm just going to pin it in a few spaces. Again, just make sure you line up those seams. Okay, the next step is I'm going to sew a quarter inch all the way around the perimeter of this set. And then when I finish one side, I'm just going to cut the string. And I'm going to lift it back up, and then I'm going to sew down the other side. Once you have all four sides sewn, then we're going to cut this. That's where your big ruler comes in really handy. And basically, we want to go from corner where the stitches cross to where the stitches cross in the center to the other corner diagonally. And I'm just going to line the ruler right up on those crossing points the best I can. Sometimes if your seam allowances are a little off, it may not be perfect, but you can always trim your black if that's the case. If you can keep your pieces together, I'm just going to turn it, make sure they're lined up. And then I'm going to take the ruler and again on the other diagonal, cut right down the center there. And just like that, if you open this up, you've got four hourglass blocks. Okay, 
And then I'm gonna go ahead and give those a press and I'll just show you how I put the main part of the quilt together. Now your finished black size should be about six and a quarter inch square. If it's off a little bit, it might just be because the quarter seam is not quite right when all the pieces were sewn. I know on my machine, my quarter inch foot is slightly bent, so I tend to not get perfect quarter inch seams, but for this demonstration, I'm gonna just make it work. If you do find that it's a little bit off, you can trim down your squares probably to a six inch if you needed to. So for this next part, we're gonna need those six and a quarter inch squares or trimmed if you needed to. And then we're gonna arrange this so that we have one row starting with white, our hourglass, and then another white. And I'm making it so the black is against the white part. And then the next row is gonna be an hourglass, then the black square, and then another hourglass. And then for the very bottom of this, same thing, another white, an hourglass, and another white. So that took hardly any time to make this section here. And I think you can imagine, it's not gonna take much time to put the rest of the quilt together. Using that quick method for making hourglass squares really speeds this up. So hopefully you get a chance to try this quilt, especially if you need something super quick and you're running out of time, this might be a really good one to try. So thank you so much for watching today. I hope that you liked this tutorial. If you haven't yet, please subscribe. Thank you.